You are watching an Al Bear review. Cue the music. <laughs> <laughs> to my channel i got michelle here to talk about the whole power review um if you're new subscribe share like all of that um do we really care who shot goes that's, <laughs> you know, that's the, the first qu question the question really is do we care to watch the show without those who's to say he's dead i mean he looked pretty dead Aha, uh -huh, he was just falling in the air. We didn't well, even hit him in the ground. See him hit the ground. He was just. But like, you know how high the rooftop is, so he didn't hit it pretty hard. It's TV. He, he can survive. So. He think he survives. You don't think so? <clears throat> I would hope so, because I ain't watching it if he ain't. Well, I mean, like, <laughs> in all seriousness, there's only five episodes left. I believe it's a 15 season, 15 episode season, and it returns on January 5th, which is my birthday. So that's not the birthday gift I wanted, but <laughs> you know, it is what it is. But I mean, let's just get into it. I mean, a lot happened in the show. It was an extended show. It was about an hour and 20 minutes, or so however long. So, uh, this last, I'm sorry, before you get started, these last two episodes just seem like a whole bunch of stuff thrown together. Do you feel that way? Uh, I mean, I feel like this episode had an opportunity to be great uh, up until the point that he was shot. And I think the whole him getting shot was just the way they was going about it. They kind of introducing storylines that we had no idea about, such as uh, Angela's sister working with Blanca to bring down. But Gold. no, we already saw that. We saw when she. We had thought it was dead. Um, we we haven't seen it since what episode two? This episode ten. So, you know that as well. And uh, we didn't get a lot of time in this episode, which kind of made me feel like, and we didn't know if he died or not. He just kind of, it, it's almost like he set ghost up, right? But we'll get into that. So, well, I mean, <clears throat> a lot happened. So, we'll just go down to picking order. It's probably going to be a lengthy review, which it should be. Because, like I said, a lot happened, and we kind of got to get into it. So, you know, don't hesitate to press pause and come back later to finish <laughs> it up. Basically saying it's going to be an hour, so you got something. It ain't going to be no hour, man. If it's an hour, god damn, man. <laughs> god damn. But anyway, so... The show kicks off, and you know, I'd be able to tie different things up within how the show goes. So the show kicks off with Ghost hitting Tariq up, saying, leaving a message, saying that, you know, he wants to talk to him. There's a lot of things that he want to tell him that only a father can tell him some truths, et cetera, et cetera. And so um, we kind of kill that whole Tariq storyline right now. So Tariq comes to see him. Um, to what? Tariq comes to see Ghost. Oh, I think he's okay. Right, yeah. Tariq comes to see Ghost. And um, what was he talking about? I mean, basically just trying to get him to confess, right? But, it, you know, Tariq came to see Ghost before. Oh, when he had Dre there. There you go. Okay. There you go. But there really wasn't, it was nothing. He just asked for money. That was real quick. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's get that. Okay, so you're looking at it from the surface. Let me get into my bag. <laughs> Let me get into my bag. Let okay. me get into my bag. So Tariq come with Drake. This is what I'm this is how I'm looking at it. Okay. A few episodes ago, Tariq went to Drake for some product. Mm -hmm. Remember? Alright, so now Tariq, I mean Drake pretty much gave Tariq the product that he had. And Drake was hoping to get put on with Jason. Uh -huh. Now that Jason dead, no matter if Dre being framed, Dre don't know that he framed for it yet at this point. Mm -hmm. Right? He just goes into truth and like, I know you tried to frame me for Jason's death, but I got out there before the cops came. Correct. Mm -hmm. So, Tariq hit up Dre, because Tariq is really trying to get in this drug game. Tariq hit up Dre like, hey, my dad want me to come see him. Maybe Dre told him about the whole incident or whatever. Who knows? Because Tariq is on this whole wave of not having people around him, lie to him. He wants to be included. Mm -hmm. So, Dre went in there. Asking for money now, go say I only got two fifty, right? Mm -hmm. And Dre was like, I need more, and I'm trying to disappear. Like, let's be serious. You do not need more than two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to disappear. Okay, noted. So, <laughs> as opposed to Dre pushing the issue for more money, mm -hmm. and he sort of tried, but Ghost was just like, nigga, please, you ain't you a fake gangster? He, he pretty much shitted on him. First he, he, I feel like in that instance, he, he was doing that the whole episode. Like, I was okay I with he, it, though. Yeah, because mm -hmm. how you you come and asking him for money and right. then want to be a, like, 
Right. I just don't yeah. understand. I was, and, 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 and so the fact that he settled on the two fifty and was like, okay, we gonna meet, that let me know at least that made, that made me feel like that was another one of Tariq's plans to get Dre some money so he could re up and get some product and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's that. So while we talking about Tariq, um, goes Tasha they go to the penthouse to basically do the whole move out inspection, mm -hmm. and um, that's. Why did both of them have to do that. Shit, it's probably something she wanted. No, I think so too, because yeah. we skipped a part. We skipped they meeting before that. What they meeting about before when that? When they was at the, the um, oh, the grave. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but that was really nothing per se. He told her he I release you. You can't tell me that she didn't have no. Well, to the point, I, you know, I, I had almost made peace with the fact that Tasha and both Ghost or James, I should say, I'm, he, he, he's James now. Ghost is dead. But anywho, I had almost made peace as I thought about this past week that both Tasha and James uh, was choosing themselves as well as choosing Tariq over, you know, the marriage because of the way they both was moving. Mm -hmm. Especially when she pretty much let us know that she didn't do anything or say anything to, to let Tommy know that it wasn't Ghost that killed Keisha. Mm -hmm. She let Tommy run with that. And she also turned him into the police for... Uh, Terry Silver. So it, it made me feel like they both were choosing themselves as well as Tariq. Not Yaz, but Tariq. Mm -hmm. So that's why I ain't really... But to your point, the worst thing that happened for Tasha, she she always said she didn't want to be with him, but I think she kind of realized like, damn, I'm really finna be on right, my own. Right. But they at the penthouse doing the inspection and Tasha's angry um, and I to be fair, to be fair, she has a right to be because she's kind of going from the penthouse to the two bedroom apartment. She been there though. She been in the two bedroom. <laughs> I, I, I I agree, but you she was pushing to get something from the marriage, and she basically got nothing, right? Okay, but so somehow that led them talking about um, Tasha was like. Um, you got some up your sleeve. You know Tariq is in trouble. The FBI is looking into him, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You said that if it came down to it, that you would take the fall. And Ghost pretty much pushed back and said, "If I take the fall, all of us is gonna go down. That gonna open up everybody for investigating. Your drug operation gonna get shut down. Tariq gonna get caught. Keisha, Tommy, everybody going down." Yeah, and I think he was right in saying because. That was a different <clears throat> time. Like, right. everything has changed. So, mm -hmm. I feel like he might have been, but that was before Tariq was a bud. Right, before right. Before him and Tasha was it's going to do their thing. Mm -hmm. Like, that was before all of that happened. Right. And, you know, he, he, he suggested that Tariq, maybe it's time for Tariq to turn himself in mm -hmm. on up for his whatever's. And um, Tasha wasn't trying to hear. Now... I understand why Tasha wasn't trying to hit because, like, let's be real. You said you would take the fall. That's what Ghost said. Even though everything Ghost said is making 100%, uh, it makes sense to me. And I'll take it a step even further. Um, the DNA found at the blood scene, even if Ghost was to turn himself in, DNA gives you a percent match. Mm -hmm. And Tariq is only 50% of Ghost Child. Right. So when they test Ghost DNA with the DNA found the scene is almost like nigga. What's the point of you turning yourself in? We know who this is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So saying all that to say, and you know, I feel like it is time for Tariq to. And what I'm trying to be fair here. I really am. I'm trying not to be biased toward Ghost and Tasha, but I got to say this. Tasha pissed me the hell off. Why? When she said, oh, you want your son who's not street nor hood to go to jail? Oh, <laughs> now you want to realize that this boy is not living that lifestyle that he shouldn't. But, but mm -hmm. I don't think she really meant that. I think she was just saying that to convince him to do it. I don't think she really. I meant agree. obviously she's teaching agree. to him. I agree. No, 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 no. She's teaching him how to sell drugs through his teacher. Wow. She's not teaching him. But I agree that Tasha was saying that as a, you know, defense to, like, this is the reason why you shouldn't let him turn himself mm -hmm. in. But go, like, go say, man, ain't no jury in the world gonna convict no boy killing his sister murder, which I agree with. And, and you mean, I agree, too, but I really feel like, go, I don't think those intentions were James. Intentions was, yeah, I think he really, this episode, just trying to get rid of everybody. Well, and, you know. once again, like I said, I kind of came to peace with both Ghost 
and Tasha choosing themselves. This is another instant where he's choosing himself because not only does this kind of take the heat off of everybody a little, but it boosts him in, you know what I'm saying, his political uh, mm -hmm. you know, aspirations because it's just like, oh, wow. He's the father of a son who took the life of his sister's murderer. Like, oh my gosh. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? It, although that could backfire, I don't think in a, a state like New York where crime is what it is, it would. Mm -hmm. But so Tasha goes, they leave there. Um, he tells Tasha, let Tariq Nani talk to him. And he goes to Raina's room. And we have a visual of Raina basically telling ghosts. It's your fault that we lied. No, I, no, she, I, I, I she, chose to she, lie. Well, I, well, let's be fair. She said that. She did say it's you, but she also put her mama in that well, too. Well, I said, I said, mm -hmm. hey, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, truthfully, what she really, like, Raina has been gone for a while now. So, this is just off the top of my head. Was yeah. she really lying or withholding information? Because they're two different. I can't. I really can't even remember the whole Raina story. Right. So. Yeah, right. Yeah. She <laughs> she basically thought that because honestly she didn't know that Tariq was in that type of situation. She just know he was out here getting money and she don't know how the how he was getting it. Mm -hmm. But she did. You know, Ghost did ask her should you know her brother turn himself in, and she was just like, hey, I had to deal with my goddamn. I had to face my consequences for not letting you guys know and that resulted in my life being taken. Why shouldn't he? But that's the thing. That means if, if we're doing that logic, Ghost need to be taking a responsibility for the actions he done, Tommy, mm -hmm. Tasha, all of them. But we, if we going by that. Right, but 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 I guess I guess what I took from the Raina scene, and and I'm just trying to be open minded here, was it was about Tariq more so than about everybody else. And the reason being is because Raina you know what I'm saying? What's the one who kind of... And I, I hate these ghost scenes with Raina and Kanan and Angela. Mm -hmm. They're not my favorite. But that kind of really made me realize Ghost is, is living. I'll explain that later if I remember. It's, it's, it's a weird theory I have, but just go with it. But um, I feel like it was about Tariq because I don't care what nobody say, at some, especially if I'm a child. If I get shot because of my sibling or somebody else, I'm, I'm salty. Yeah, nigga, you need to go to jail. You like I ain't, I don't live the street life while I ride for you, but that was pretty much that. And then uh, uh, Tariq shows up the ghost apartment and Ghost tells Tariq the best thing for him to turn himself in. And Tariq, you said you said you were gonna turn around. He was a butt this whole time. Now he need him. Now he wanna soften up and get some little well, really crack down to your tears, right, but right. nothing really there. Mm. But. I just thought that was so funny. You've been a butt this whole time. You just got through saying F you and I'ma kill you and now that you need him. Now if you said you would do this to me, you're a liar. Mm, right. Please. And then you know he took it as far as say, I'll confess if you confess first, why did you kill Breeze? Who is Breeze? I'm assuming Breeze is one of Kanan's associates um that obviously turned snitch because Ghost said he gave him opportunity to change his mind. But, so was we was never show? introduced okay, to Breeze. I was real long right. when he said, why Just like we wouldn't uh, introduce to Ghost Uncle in the yeah. group. But, but, but for Tariq, I'm trying to be as open minded as I can for Tariq. And I guess for me, I'm trying to realize or think of a reason why Tariq doesn't feel like he should go to jail. What is Tariq's purpose on the outside? It's not, he He don't really want to go to school. Right. So what would be his bigger purpose for saying, you said you would do this for me so I can do this? Would he keep a promise saying that he'll get on the straight and narrow if, you know, goes was? Well, we know that's not, no, because he ain't man this whole time when they was trying to get him. He'll say he was, but he'll still go back to doing it. So. Yeah, but I guess my thing, I don't think in a world of Tasha and Ghost being actual, not involved together, I don't think she would allow him to. What do you mean? To just be on the right path? Yeah, because she's the pin. Like, I. I'm well, sure. I mean, I guess because that was the same. I mean, that's the same situation with her and Ghost. Mm. He wanted to get out and she still wanted the same. So right. I can believe that. Right, exactly, exactly. So anyway, that pretty much leads to late in the episode, Tariq showing up at Truth at the big announcement where Ghost is going to be Lieutenant May and basically asking his dad, is he sure it's something he should do? And Ghost like, look, once I'm in the office, you may get you may get probation or military camp, but you're not going to prison. So. And that's what I saw on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Side note: When they had came, somebody had said that Tariq was going 
to give, because you know how Ghost was saying, I gave him one more opportunity, one more mm -hmm. chance. So they were saying that that was Tyreek's. They were giving him that uh, one more chance, or Tyreek was giving Ghost that one more chance to say what he wanted to happen. Mm -hmm. And so they were trying to say that Tyreek killed him for that. Okay, so, anyway, so basically Twitter is saying that Tyreek is going to pull the trigger on Yeah. Okay, um... I'll address, we'll, we'll, we'll do speculations at the end. Okay. We'll do speculations. So anyway, let's talk about, let's go ahead and knock out this whole Ramona and Catherine Lieutenant Governor meeting. So basically, Ghost and Ramona meet with Catherine or whatever the lady name who's running for governor. To basically, let her know that um, the Queen's Child Project has been pretty much revoked. We got to find new space. She tells Ghost, either you find space in the next 24 or I'm going to call Rashad Tate. He's going to be my running mate. It's a political uh, campaign strategist, genius strategy. Ghost goes to what the man ain't uncle. uncle. Uh, I did take notes. It was Uncle Gabe. Mm -hmm. Uncle Gabe, and originally I thought Uncle Gabe um, was maybe his Canaan's father, but it turns to find out that is actually Ghost Father's brother, and, and we kind of learn a little insight of Ghost upbringing. Uncle Gabe and Ghost Dad seem to be on the straight and narrow, and they didn't want to pay the drug dealers for protection or not to come up in there. So mm -hmm. I guess Kane and the boys pretty much took Ghost into the street life and killed his daddy. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe that's the reason Ghost made him. I don't know. I don't want to speculate on that too much. But basically, he got a space. We got introduced to a new character. Now, will he be in the upcoming episodes in January? It's hard to say. I don't really know. About? Uncle Gabe. Oh. Yeah, but he was only in there for a second about to get to buy the fame. So really, what, you what never know. Happen? You never know. So he goes back to tell Ramona and um, old girl that he got the space, and him and Ramona like they're gonna make things official, and we can kind of see where that's gonna go. Um, yeah. So that was that. So let's talk about this whole uh, Blanca going to Warner. Uh, well, let's talk. Let's talk about this first. Um, Blanca. I don't remember exactly what happened. Oh. Sax went to go see Warner and insisted on, you know, getting a search warrant for James Patrick Hotel. And so Warner was like, man, you smoking that dope. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You must be smoking some 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 feet, some toenails. You got to get up out of here. Mm -hmm. So then after he leaves, Blanca comes in with all this evidence. Boom, pow. We got we got a uh, dirt sample from the Queen Child Project. We have uh uh Phone, or, well, she didn't say it, it, about the phone yet. It was a third, it was three things. They had the dirt, dirt. They oh, the phone was the last thing. Tasha saying. Oh, yeah, and Tasha. And, 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 and Warner, you know, all this time, you know, I was looking at Warner as a little, you know, she I didn't. liked him until the end. I I, I liked him because it, it seemed like he wasn't falling into that mess. I got a theory for that. but we, I'm, So, anyway, he, 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 he shot it down. He said, man... We don't know how many times he was at their when, fight. Right. Tasha and him still married legally, right. so she can't testify against him. Right. And third, you want us, you want me to believe that a man who allegedly killed all these people for all these years is getting sloppy and keep a cell phone months after the fact? Right. He shut it down. Right? right. But somehow, some way they called in Sax and Sax had Tamika to be his lawyer, his, his representation. And basically Tamika said, Yeah, y'all can go after him. Or all this blood in all y'all face, and you lose, she lose, and you lose one. So your best bet is to figure out a way to make it work. Now that kind of in that moment, that was when I was like, they didn't turn him to. Well, I got a theory. I'm gonna get to that theory. I got one. <laughs> uh, to I was surprised that Tamika took that approach with sex because if we being honest, sister, sister, sex was the reason you lost your job. Him going out doing this sneaky stuff, etc. stuff. And, and right then and there, when they was going through the whole situation, Blanca realized that, oh, pff, he used me. Yeah. He and da 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 da. Which I do think Sax's intentions are to put James behind of the wall. I do. But look, man, look, if if, if you're gonna uphold the law, you got to uphold the law. So pretty much they left them. And uh, Warner and Blanca had a decision to make. They went to judge, and the judge pretty much the cell phone was not. He didn't. He didn't want to use the cell phone, right. right? So they pretty much put out everything else they had. And the judge was like, "Are you kidding me? Right. Can you Same thing that he yeah, said first. Can you prove that Adam Silver was never at the Queen Travel? Did this right. and third? Then he put the cell phone out, and of course he shut that down too. Because we, we we find out later that he shut it down. But I I, I believe that he actually did. He did. It, it, 
And let me tell you why. Because they ain't show it. I was, they they I didn't. Feel, I feel like they was lying. They didn't. Kinda... They didn't. But I will say this. And let me tell you why. I believe the cell phone, and it's just me going into my bag now. I'm in there. <laughs> uh -huh. I believe Warner used the cell phone because he, see, Warner got ambitions. Mm -hmm. he, he, he trying to go somewhere. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. This cell phone is the way for us to get from under the mess that Sax and Tamika is trying to put on us. Because mm -hmm. you remember, Tamika hit him hard. We're like, oh, you can, ASA goes down for, you know, planting evidence, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Or you can take down James St. Patrick. Or all y'all go down. Mm -hmm. This was his way of, this was his big joker in the spade game. Like, okay. Because he knows that there is no way in hell a judge is going to. Because, he did that because he said it himself. He said it. It's, and, and, and not only did he say it, but they had got a sneak and peek warrant. Which basically means you can go and see, but everything has to be put back. Right. The fact that these text messages or you feel that this app, he knew. He, and I just feel like Warner, I think Warner is a bad guy. Really? I, let me say this. I believe, and I know the show's coming to an end, but I believe he's working with um, the political characters in this show, uh, being especially the one whose ghost is going to be running. The lady. The lady, okay. Catherine or whatever. I believe he's working with them some type of way. That's just what I believe. But I believe the phone was his his his, his trick, his, his one trick pony to get him from under up and getting from underneath to me and sex because as you as you seen what happened to me could deliver the news to sex <laughs> you going to jail mm -hmm. you, you going to jail so i was happy and then also we seen um where blanco went to uh, angela's sister dre and i was kind of disturbed how, well she uh blanca after the meeting with the judge blanca went to dre and pretty much pulled the sax like right we need you to say that you was there or right. ghost told and you and then telling him what the same yeah exactly yeah. exactly but to further this because that was his only phone call which i got to think about why would he call blanca as his only phone call who else is he gonna call but right? see that's the thing he had no way because what she's think about this what she's promising this negro is 10 years in prison instead of like he looking at it completely different he's looking at it from the standpoint of and the fact that he got out was just like another like what but remember? remember she had said that if you say this then you'll be like out here today you'll be out today. but that is not realistic you are being well, charged no for really murder really but i'm just though. saying but anyway so then we see blanca going to dre mm -hmm. i mean not dre but uh angel's sister mm -hmm. tate um, Tasha basically telling them that the judge shut it down. There's no need for this, no need for that, and everybody upset. Mm -hmm. And so, which I really still feel like it was all a lie. I really do feel like that. I don't feel like I feel like they didn't show it on purpose <clears throat> so mm -hmm. that we can kind of speculate what happened. Mm -hmm. I really don't feel like that judge shut it down. We'll really see. Don't. We'll see. That could be true with Tasha, and let me tell you why. Because if we being honest. The only person that they went to go visit that actually had a legit, um, uh, a legit, um, right. interest or involvement okay. in blaming or framing goes or getting him to be proven guilty would be Tasha. Or Dre. No, no, no. Dre is cooperating. And in the end, they didn't show her going to Dre saying, we don't know, we don't want to need you, right? Tasha, if they go to Tasha and say, we don't want to need you, it's because... Her statement is invalid. They can't use it. They're married. Mm -hmm. Right? Oh, uh, okay. Angela's sister, your sister dead, and we're not even looking into the ghost of killing your sister anymore. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't need you. Take, you already lied to us about saying that he knew about mm -hmm. Tasha. So <laughs> we don't need you either. The only person that they could actually need it was Tasha. And the fact that she's uh, you still married, uh, sister, no, we don't need you. So that made me feel like it was kind of true. But and they want the cell phone angle, right? Mm -hmm. Because I do believe, and, and we don't really know. At the end of the episode, who Blanca was going to arrest? Was she going to arrest Tariq? But oh. she knew she knew Tariq wasn't gonna be there though. So I, I don't know. I don't it know. Hasn't been, oh, okay. But yeah, she, she could have been going to arrest Ghost. Or who's to say? Matter of fact, she she wasn't going to arrest him because when the officer goes to make an arrest, she comes with backup. It was just her. So I don't know if she had documentation of. I know you killed Terry Silver. This is a cell phone record. Mm -hmm. Or was it a search warrant? Couldn't have been a search warrant either. Yeah. I think she was going to confront him. Mm -hmm. We know you killed Terry Silver. Right. That's what I believe. So, uh, let's back up a little bit. 
uh, we forgot to mention that now Ghost has leverage over Tasha because he knows that she killed Keisha. Mm-hmm. Right, and so cause like Ghost pretty much shit on everybody's episode. He was, right. and, that, and see, I was, I, I didn't want Ghost to die. Like I like Ghost. He had his moments where I can't stand him, but I ultimately don't see myself watching the show without him being there. Right. But this episode just made me like look at him like really, <laughs> like every person that he was talking to, he didn't made so many enemies. Well, they was already enemies, but he was just making them. God, what's the word I'm looking for? Like. What is that word? When just, you, just giving them a reason to go against. Yeah, them. just being yeah. a real butt. And Tate, when even when Tate with Tate, you tried to warn him. Was he really though? What else was he gonna do? He really tried. See, to- let's let, 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 let's speak on this. Let's speak on this because I'm glad we bring up a point. Goes pretty much, you know, doodling on everybody. Right. Me personally, when he did it on Dre, okay. round of applause because Dre. What kills me with Dre is the fact that Dre is moving as if he invincible. Not only that, that's a good point. Not only that, but he's moving as if Ghost has no reason to get him back because ultimately, Dre is the reason that Tariq has got into that lifestyle other than Kanan. But that's another story. So the Tate when he, I felt bad the for the Tate, <laughs> right? The Tate, the Tate. But um, when Ghost was talking about like right. this, on him, it was just so funny. Like he just had like this little. Mm. And, and, <laughs> but you know, I guess my thing with Tate, it's hard for me to see that he was coming to. And maybe he was coming to tell Ghost something. Mm. What that something was, we would never know because Ghost just completely shut it down. He, he did, and it was just like it was definitely coming from a cocky place. Yes, but. This whole episode, oh, nobody's gonna stop me. Right. I mean, that's the title of the episode. No one can stop me. But the thing with Tate is is, is interesting because it's like, why would you collaborate with these? You signed an affidavit saying that Ghost told you he knew about it. Then you messing up your political aspirations by, you know, doing that. So I don't know what. Maybe he was coming to say, Negro, your days are numbered. <laughs> the police after you. Maybe coming to brag like I just did this or that did could. This, but it I, could it's it, it's hard for me because like even with the whole Keisha thing, I hate to go back on the old episode. After you signed those papers, like, you signed the affidavit, you basically saying I'm helping y'all. Like mm-hmm. you know the police, like come on now, they they, they, they gonna get what they want to buy you. <laughs> That's Dre about it. But so and, and Tasha, did he did he really do you on Tasha? Wait, I right, refresh my mind. What did he tell Tasha? Um, well, at the grave site he did when he was saying, I, I release you from, first of all, how you gonna release me from whatever? But he was like, I release you from this marriage. That was um, good. I'm that, leaving that, that, you that, behind. That, I was very extra. Now, yeah, I, I I'm, ain't, I'm a, yeah. Yeah, I'm leaving mm-hmm. you behind. I'm moving forward. I met somebody. Right. And right. then when they was at the par- apartment or whatever, condo, whatever they was at saying that, mm-hmm. um, what did he say? What did he say then? Oh, uh, he was just basically letting her know that. Um, he she got something on him, but he got something on her because he know that she killed Keisha. Yeah, and just just I was okay with that though, because the way <coughs> the way Tasha was moving with the whole silver incident, because she even brought it up, because she even said, "Hmm, don't be surprised if some of the FBI know that you killed." She said yeah. something of that nature. So I, I was okay with him playing his his spade when she played hers. But at the grave site, when he was like, I released you, I was just like, bro, come on, like, you know. I released like, you from this marriage. I right, you like, know. I'm moving forward without you. Like, right, yeah. moving forward. Well, I mean, bro, you've been, you been marching right. forward with her bald head <laughs> behind all these seats. You seen the me. She ain't got no edges. She ain't got no edges. She, I got more than she got. But nevertheless, uh, Tate, Dre, Tasha. Oh, Tommy. It's like what the Tommy scene. He was, I was saying, he was only in the episode for like two scenes. Right. Um, I believe Thomas said Dre, uh, Ghost up to kill him. To kill who? I believe so. Oh, you think during that shootout, shootout thing, Tommy set it up? Mm-hmm. Well, I could believe it because he did kind of disappear. Ain't no kind of. He did. And he was like, it's two people. Right. We only saw that one. Mm-hmm. And we that and we didn't I hear no more shooting. I could believe it. <laughs> I right, really and then at the end of the episode, he was heading toward truth too. Everybody was heading toward truth. It, 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 it's ghost versus everybody. Yeah. Right. I. I but I guess. Let's but talk why about. Why he just disappear, Tommy? He shouldn't have just disappear. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about this. I. I truly, and I, and I told you that I don't think Tommy can kill ghosts. Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. himself. He cannot because that's the only person that he has ever truly loved. To the point, Tommy said, you remember what Canaan said, ain't no friends in the streets. And Ghost said, yeah, but we brothers. Mm -hmm. Right? Ghost is the only person that Tommy just cannot kill. Now, let's talk about what Ghost was telling Tommy. Everything Ghost was saying to Tommy was low-key kind of true. Like, you need for your issues to be related to me because you just can't let me go. I mean, like, as soon as anything happened to Tommy, it was ghost. As soon as it was ghost. It was like, he just does this. And I don't know where that comes from. They, like you said, he ain't had nobody consistent. Like, think about it. Everybody but no, but I mean, that. I guess what I'm, at, what I'm saying, I don't know where anytime something happens to Tommy, why does he immediately blame his goop? But he immediately started blaming ghosts, though, once they started beefing. No, this was even before they were beefing. Anytime he had a problem, it was ghosts. It ain't nobody else. It ain't nobody he didn't kill, but you know, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but anywho, yeah, Tommy pretty much got shot. Uh, we can talk about the whole little ghost thing. Yeah, Tommy got shot. Oh no, no, Tommy was trying to. I'm bad. Tommy was trying to set him up to get shot. Um, I can believe it, but I just need them to make it make sense. Mm -hmm. I just that's what I need. Okay, so all right, so let's let, let's ghost pays Vincent a visit. He basically wants Vincent to get a cell phone on the inside for somebody, mm -hmm. right? And. He got the cell phone to two bit and spanking one of them. And uh -huh. basically, he called for. First of all, how did they both end up in the same cell? If they both charged, they, they, that wouldn't be for real. I mean, maybe. I ain't never they both got before. arrested for the being in the warehouse together, and you gonna arrest them and put them in well, the Well, technically, same. it was three that got arrested. It was on two in the cell together. It was only two that got no, arrested. Because no. remember, the big guy got Drake killed him. Speaking of, why they two like, the big guy? The big BG, the friendly guy that was BG? watching the ghost. I thought it was four of them, no. It was three. It was just three. I thought so. I don't know. But yeah. Yeah, two billion spanking. Basically. And they was the only two that they showed getting arrested. I don't really remember that episode. It was last episode. I, I said, I don't remember. <laughs> I, the only thing I remember is got dog on Tommy looking through the fence and saying, God damn ghost. <laughs> That's <laughs> all I remember. But uh, he wanted to talk to two billion spanking. And obviously, they got something. That, I'm speculating that it has something to do with killing Drake. Mm -hmm. But I believe that's not why he called. Could it be? Could it be? Could it be that there's somebody else on the inside that we have not yet met? And it wouldn't surprise me the way this show going, because it's like all over the place, that he wants them to kill. So his past won't come back out. But who would that be, though? I don't know. Could it be? And, it, and, and it's just speculation, because it's like killing Drake. Wait, did he say his dad was in jail, or did he say his dad died? His dad got killed. Oh, okay. His dad got killed. Or he, his dad may be, I think his dad got killed, though. But I just feel like it's somebody in prison that's, that's over there that got something. It's hard for me to just say it's Drake, but we could be wrong. Yeah, I don't think it's Drake. I don't. I don't yeah, but I mean, because, I mean, let's be serious. Drake can't prove nothing when it comes to ghosts. He can't prove that he said Drake. He can't kill, he kill nobody. He just a little scared thug. Wanna be, <laughs> you feel me? But who would it be, though? That's a good point that he wants somebody else that's already in there. Because, I mean, but even when he was in there, he didn't really meet no, when Ghost was in jail. He didn't really meet nobody. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I, and, 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 and let me tell you why I think it's somebody else. Because you remember at the end of the episode when he was walking through Truth and he see the ghost of Canaan. Mm -hmm. And basically, he pretty much telling Canaan, like, nigga, please, I took the long path because of you. You raised me. If it wasn't for you, I would have been in bed in school at XYZ. And Canaan was just like, nigga, see? That's why I don't nobody like you. <laughs> you 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 know you you think you're too good and you always lying mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I think it's somebody else that's in prison mm -hmm. that could possibly know about him. Yeah, because I mean, like it's it, it's different when you're on the outside and they locked up as opposed to you being on the outside on TV. Right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't know. It's hard for me to believe that it's. Yeah. It's Drake, but that's that. So anyway, let's speculate. Um, really, if he wanted to get him killed, then he would have probably did something, met up with him, and tried to kill him instead of getting him arrested and then killed. That's just like double work to me. Yeah, true, true, true. Um, who killed? Who killed those? Who are you going with? Who shot? My bad. Who shot? Let, let's 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 uh use these play on words because he's not dead. <laughs> I watched. I hope not. I watched how to get over murder. It's and the the theme is who killed. This says who shot. Hint, hint. Go ahead. So they didn't kill Anna Lee from the thing? Well, no, no. She's going to get murdered, but we're going to find that. You know, that show did. You don't watch that show. It's, oh. it's, 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 so, out of the people that died, who killed 
I was walking up. Mm -hmm. We believe it is. I devil, I can tell you I know for sure it ain't. Okay, you mean? I know for sure it's not the police officer because for one, we saw her reaction when she heard the shot. Correct. I know for sure it's not, um, who else was walking up? It was Tommy, Tasha, Tariq, Angela's sister. I know for sure it wasn't Angela's sister. Because mm. mm -hmm. I feel like they're not going to give her too much of a story. <laughs> like, I don't think they're going to give her too much of a story. The fact that she was trying to play him when she came to truth and said, yeah. Jamie, I know it wasn't you who killed my sister, but <laughs> you know who killed her. Yeah. I don't think she would. I don't, I don't think she did. it. Okay. Um, I know that it was not... Do you believe it was Tariq or Tasha? Let's just be a skits. Wait, I was going through my, my thinking process. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. But you said, who, do I know if it's... Go right? ahead. I mean, you don't went through everybody. You went through Angela's sister, the, the detective. Do you believe it was Tate? I don't believe it was Tate. Okay. <laughs> no. So, <laughs> he ain't going to never get no win with those. Right, right. He, like Go said, losing is a skill, yeah. and he's good at it. Right. <laughs> Um, he definitely wasn't him. Right, uh, so uh, Tariq, tell what, let's do Tommy. What do you think it was Tommy? I almost feel like Tommy is gonna kill the person that shot the person. Mm. I feel like I feel I can't see Tommy <clears throat> killing ghosts. Me either. I like, yeah, like you said, I don't, I don't, I feel like as episodes go on, I don't know how they're gonna play it out, but I feel like the person that killed Tommy, Tommy's gonna kill that person. Okay, so not Tommy, okay. Tariq. I actually feel like it could be Tyreek, Tyreek or Tasha, right. because um, this next season is supposedly supposed to be around them. Right. So I could believe that it's them or one of them that did it. Yeah. And maybe Tasha covered up, or maybe they both kind of meet each other in the building. Because first of all, how all of them walking up. <laughs> right. But yeah, it's definitely between Tasha and Tyreek. That's a great point. And by that point, we are gonna do the process of elimination. Mm -hmm. All right, so we know it wasn't Blanca because right. she was outside and she gave a reaction. Right. So that leaves. We know it wasn't Angela's sister. Right. And the reason why I'm putting her in that con that that category is because whoever killed uh, Ghost had to know how to get in the truth. You know, while it's closed. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. She, that was her first time there. Hell for you don't know that. Yeah. <laughs> Tariq. Tariq is interesting because he. First of all, he's not of age. And I believe this what season, does that mean? he's not old enough to get in the club. He's still in school. But he's been in the club many times. I was just about to say this. He's only been in the club that I can remember just this season. Our seasons prior to this, I don't think Tariq has ever been to truth. But he's been there enough. Has he been there enough to know the ins and outs? But what, would he really need to know the ins and outs? He would. Because think about it, you're going to kill the man who just announced he's run, he's he's running for lieutenant governor. You need to be able to get in and get out. Mm. I don't I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Okay. I don't think he needs to be that knowledgeable. He know where he go. Like you, when he came in there to confront him, he knew exactly where to go. What do you mean? When he came in there and confronted him, tell him don't touch Tasha. He was in the lobby. Well, you, you walk in the main entrance, you in there. Well, I guess, but I guess. I don't know. I just don't feel like he would need to be that aware. This is very predictable to me, and I don't know if this is how it's going to go, but I'm going to go ahead and try to end this video. Go I'm ahead. going to say that it was Tasha St. Patrick for this reason and this re these reasons alone. When Ghost finally told her that he released, released her, <laughs> uh -huh. her reaction said a lot to me. She was very... Damn, nigga, I ain't never think it was gonna come to this. Because if you think about it, they are still married. So yeah. if if she they do go through a divorce, she ain't getting nothing. And if he but they still married and he get killed. Now nah, you thinking well I'm good. I ain't yeah. think and yeah, there you go. Not only that, yeah. that was my I'm gonna say that little day, you know, that, that was bad. You know what I'm saying? You take uh -huh. get out my bag. Get out my bag. Okay? Um <clears throat> But uh, I was going to say that, but also I was going to say the fact that he wouldn't turn Tariq in. Mm -hmm. And that. And he knows she killed Lakeisha. She don't trust that nigga. Which means that, in the, and he already told her, you, you try that again, I'm going to take gas <laughs> from you. He already tried it. He done said, now nah, I know you done got a body. I know. But did she not already get him back for that? Huh? She's talking about Terry Silver. 
So nothing has been done about that though. Everybody should have done. Yeah. So I believe it's Tasha, and, and the motive that we have around Tasha is she don't get no, she don't get nothing if he said if he's still alive. He wants to turn into Rika, and obviously she's not a fan of that. Even though he pretty much said, if I turn myself in, everything going. Yeah. She, she don't think that way. And I get why she don't think that way, because she looks at it as ghost. All of this, this is your S-H-I-T. But not realizing, when they go, I mean, and Tasha, I, I don't like Tasha, but sometimes, like, in the early seasons, she was an asset. She, she meant so much to the team. But now it's like her thinking process is so on herself and Tariq that it's, you know, it's, it's to kind of cloud it a little bit. Yeah. So, and also to the point that uh, he knows that she killed Keisha and Tasha just, Tasha ain't going to jail. Let's go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> she, 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 yeah. But she don't trust him. So that's why I say I believe it was Tasha. I don't believe it was Tariq because Tariq motive for killing Ghost would be just so he don't necessarily go to jail, but they found your DNA yeah. at the scene, bro. Like, <laughs> your dad is only 50% of your DNA makeup. So, that's why I believe it was Tasha. But any last comments, thoughts coming? No, just that I hope that they don't do what oh, kill. I got to say this. What? Uh, what the girl name? He, Ramona. Uh-huh. Ramona. I want y'all to listen to this carefully. Ramona went to go and said, my last marriage didn't work because of secrets. I don't want that to happen. Ramona, don't be surprised if she's from them streets. Don't be surprised if Ramona from them streets, y'all. I'm telling you. Oh, no. She give me too too much of a goody goody lady. That's how they look when they make it out them streets. <laughs> women women forget where they will come from, boy. She, hey, but I, but I do believe that when all of this hits the fan, Ramona is, is going to find a way to clear his name. I do I do believe that. Yeah. With his, uh, yeah, because the, the connects he has made. And come in, please. But anyway, any last thoughts? Yeah, wanna... just that I hope that these next five episodes is your own. Who killed? Who killed? Who shot? Who shot him? I just hope it is not. And I hope that he is not. He is. Just, he just got shot. And that was it. Because I don't want to watch the show if it's not. It was just like I don't want to watch this next season if it's not the ghost in there some kind of way. Yeah. Because yeah. I just feel like I don't want to see a show revolved around Tyreek. I don't like him like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the analytic department has pretty much done their job for stars, and the numbers come back and say, ain't nobody watching that little nigga on yeah. TV. So, <laughs> you know, that's that. But anyway, that's all we got, man. Until next time, holla at y'all good folks. Happy Sunday. You know the vibe. Peace. Peace.